So, Donald Miller here. It's about 10 o'clock at night. We powered up. We're working on week four here. Plaster work is done. As you can see, lights have been turned back on. I wanted to, I wanted to at least show you what it looks like with a completed, you know, I'm too tired to talk. Now this light fixture is down because we just had to touch up some of our plaster work. But as you can see, there's that big hole. You can kind of see it but not as bad. We were just working on this. So this is what our, our, our finished boxes look like. We, we plaster them into the wall. They're permanent. They're, they're, now, the plate covers this, so you won't see that, but that's what it looks like on the inside. And you can see my ground, my green nut, this is a feed in and out, jumps to a feed. Here's a switch. Here's a mess. So this is, the countertops are still protected. Thank God, because man, the, the end of these can, can really get bad. It, we don't mean to make a mess, but sometimes when you're, you're working throughout the whole house, you need a staging area. And this is kinda the staging area, our kitchen. Again, we have guys here for a month. So you, they kinda move in in a way. You know, there's extra clothes here. But this is a large job. Most rewires we can get done in two weeks. Um, this one's taking a little bit longer. Um, let's go upstairs. Or we can go, eh. the basement, well, I might as well look at the basement, why not? Uh, we put LED lights in, all right. Basement's pretty open now. All right, we, we're still, again, we're taking the old lighting out. We put new LED uh, four foots in. All right, and we we're removing, this is coax. Um, so there's our new Romex. Um, and these are all the old knob and tube lines that we're running through here. We took them out, drilled them a little larger. All right, and then they come down and Here's our new box. <laughs> this is the old box. So this rat's nest that we're gonna deal here is all the new power is coming off of here. All right. All the old power is coming off of here. All right, this will all get gutted out. All right, and then we'll clean it up and you know, we'll, we'll salvage what we can. Some of the, obviously some of the old wiring is Romex. Um, it's a mess, but it's Romex. So we'll fix it up, we'll clean it up. All right. I'll show you where our main feed line goes. And this is our pathway all the way through the house. It goes up through here. Um, there's actually, along here, there's about an eight inch gap in between the two walls. There's a lot of open space in between the walls here. Um, it's not balloon framing, but there's a lot of open space in between the walls and we're utilizing that. And here, I'll give you an example. Um, all right. So 
This is the inside part of a wall. All right, and this house was built 1910, we believe. It might actually be a little bit sooner. There is some gas lantern uh, pipe work upstairs. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but why not? I'll show you the perimeter. The perimeter was a little difficult to get to. Um, they sealed it up. Whatever balloon framing was here was, was sealed, which it should be. Balloon framing is a fire hazard. So let's kind of, let's go back upstairs. And up we go. Well, I'm only showing the first floor tonight because we're still working upstairs. But again, uh, front porch. There we go. Front porch fixtures repaired. That was a tough fish. Um, with the porch having the beadboard up there and the porch, the porch framing wasn't going with a header up against the house and outwards. So most porch framings, you get through that header, you can go right on out to the fixture without any problem. The way this house was built, they actually ran parallel to the front of the house. So we actually had around 10 joists to drill through. And I don't always like doing this, but basically what we had to do because of the angle of the drill and how we had to drill it, we did extension bits. We did 18 inch extensions and we would drill, go 18 inches in, add an extension, 18 inches in, add an extension. And luckily we were able to, it, it stayed level. It's the, the flexible bits that scare me. Um, I would rather just add and add and add than use a flexible bit. Flexible bits can get a little dangerous. Um, they just, they like to run on you. You don't know where they're going, but, um, I'm tired and this was a tough rewire. It was tough because we're, we were trying not to make holes and the plaster was extremely damaged upstairs. So while we rewired, we also repaired the plaster. So now the plaster is a hundred times better than it ever was. And the house is completely remediated of all the cloth conductors. So it's a win-win. Um, my name is Donald Miller. Thank you for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.